What's going on everyone? Um, today I'm going to show you how to record in high def using an Xbox 360 VGA cable. Now it is kind of complicated, you got to get a lot of splitters and a lot of cables and all that stuff and uh, you know you'd probably just say well why don't I just get an HDTV and use the HDAV. Well go ahead and do that then. Uh, but I'm here to show you how to use this VGA cable here. So as we know, here we go, there's the cable there and then we got the uh, left and right audio and of course this splitter here is just for the, my uh, turtle beaches I use so now I'm going to show you how alright well first off you're going to want to get some of these uh, piggyback RCA audio patch cables uh, these are just pretty much audio splitters uh, there is other ones but I prefer these ones because they give you a lot of worm to work with instead of just like a few inches and uh, then you're going to want the main thing here is definitely your VGA to HDAV or the uh, RGB uh, component cables this here is high def and if you get the uh, the other you know the yellow cable then that's just you know standard definition uh, then you're gonna want a VGA splitter uh, here we go we got the uh, I believe it's the male to the females or I'm not too sure it could be the other way around alright so what we're gonna want to do right now is uh, we're gonna want to plug in our VGA here sorry so we're going to want to plug our Xbox 360 VGA here into one end of the splitters. So we're just going to plug that right in here. All right. Now I know, see, there's no way to somehow screw it in there or keep it in there. So you, what you want to definitely do is either like tape it up or make sure, you know, it's not any anywhere near some wires that it might get accidentally pulled out if you pull your monitor out or something. But uh, you should be good anyways. Uh, there is a pretty snug fit there, you know, it doesn't really come loose when you just kind of yank on it a little bit. Alright, so now with the uh, one end of the, uh, the splitter here, you're going to plug this into your monitor. So let's go ahead and plug this in. Alright, so now that's plugged in. So this is my theory that, you know, this would work. There are many other ways you can do it by using a VGA splitter box or the uh, HD, or sorry, VGA to HD TV splitter converter box. And those are pretty expensive though, that will run you up to about a hundred bucks for one. Or you can even buy a PC, yeah, PCI card for your uh, computer, but those can run you up to about two grand. And you know who wants to pay two grand while using a freaking capture card. So now what we're going to do is with the uh, audios uh, here, we're going to put the uh, piggyback splitter on there. So let's go ahead and get these out uh, from the box that I just bought. Uh, these audio splitters that you'll see here the, uh, for the Turtle Beaches, but they're the exact same as the ones I've bought. They're pretty cheap. Uh, there are some expensive ones, but you can buy like really cheap ones. I bought mine for about three bucks, and uh, the expensive ones are like you know twelve, fifteen for you know a, a six foot or even higher. And I, I got a three foot here, so um, I don't have my HD PVR right now uh, because I'm getting rid of this camcorder. So I thought I'd just make a video real quick. So here we go, we got the piggyback cables for the uh, audio splitters. So now we're just going to plug them into here. So of course, you know, match up the colors, of course. Alright, so there's one. There's the other one. Now we're going to plug these ends of these piggyback cables into the Turtle Beach headset. And right there. Now as you can see, I have a uh, converter here, which is left and right audio to a 3.5 millimeter jack. And the reason why I do this is because my uh, stereo system that I use doesn't have the left and right audio. Now, you don't need this unless you have um, you know, the left and right audio in your speaker system. But uh, with mine, I just used you know, the standard, uh, it's an Alltech Lansing speakers here, but it has the auxiliary port on the front. Might be a little hard to see that, but you'll see an auxiliary port. Uh, and then you pretty much just plug it right into there. Get that right in. Yeah, I know there is quite a bit of wires, so you got to make sure there, uh, you know, there's space for it. All right. So now with the other end of that splitter, this is what we're going to do now. Okay. So now you're going to get that uh, VGA to RGB splitter, or sorry, uh, converter. Uh, there's the splitter there. All right. Now I'll just show you. We're going to plug this. Oh, I just accidentally pulled it out. So you're going to plug this into your uh, RGB. All right, and there should be a pretty snug fit too. So you don't have to worry about that falling off. Plug that right back into the monitor. Now with the other end of the RGB, 
right here, you're going to plug into the uh, HD PVR or your Hobage or whatever you have that recording high def. And as well as these audio splitters will go into the audio end of the HD PVR. And you will have, uh, if, you, if your monitor supports 1080, then you can have 1080. This one here does support, but the uh, picture is actually stretched. Uh, I use a Samsung uh, 226BW. Uh, it's just a 22 inch uh, monitor. It's actually got really nice high quality to it, but I prefer playing on the, the 720. Like I said, the 1080 is picture stretched. And I know I can change that, but uh, you know it, it seems a little smaller whenever I have it on there. All right, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So then you plug your PVR into your computer and then you're set. Uh, as for capturing programs, you can use anything you like, really. Uh, you can just stand, you can use the standard uh, Windows Movie Maker or uh, the Sony Vegas. And I, I know a lot of people use uh, Sony Vegas because, well, they got, you know, the great editing software. Okay, and that's about it. So, see, you get the splitter and uh, the one end of the Xbox there, and then the uh, RGB right here, splitter, or sorry, converter, and then that'll go to your Abaj HD PVR. And, uh, like, this does work. Um, I've tested it before with another um, capture card that I had, but it really wasn't the best capture card that I had. Um, but yeah, um, as long as there's one video source, because then no, uh, you can get a different splitter or a different converter, stuff like that. But as long as there's one video source, which is your Xbox and not your uh, HD PVR. So if you've got just the one source of video here, it's streaming right to your monitor. And this uh, you know splitter here, or uh, part of the splitter goes into the converter, is drawing the information or the video from your monitor and then right to the PVR. So it'll pick everything up. There's really not much of a lag difference. Uh, you won't notice it, um, but unless you know you had high-tech equipment, then you'll be able to notice it. All right, guys, and that's how you record in high def using an Xbox 360 VGA cable.